If anybody asks me, was I a great fighter? I'd probably say maybe not a great fighter, but a very good one who was blessed enough to have some great moments. Yeah, do one of those. You're already close enough to do what you come to do. He said he had to pull a John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was in the gym with Clinton Jackson, Mike McCallum, Johnny Bum City Bumpers, Jackie Beard, Bernard Teller. Everybody were national champions, and we were all out of the same area. So we, we, we all fed off of one another. And when we saw things that needed to be adjusted while the fight was going on, we would just hollow it to each other. And, and sure enough, we would make the adjustments. You see the guy turn out the same way every time. You should have already figured that out by now. Don't let him turn out that side. Oh, Lord have mercy. Time. Come on, what is that? Don't throw a jab. Yeah. You ain't gotta hit, you ain't gotta hit the guy with it, just throw it. Very nice defense. Very nice defense. When I was working with the Canadian fighter, Scotty Olsen out of Edmonton, Alberta, he said to me one day after watching me work out with some of the same guys he had trouble with, what is it that you're doing that I'm not doing that, that makes it so easy for you? And if you see a guy turning out on you, then start in at him. When he turns out, then send the shot over here. Don't, don't, don't let yourself commit to a line. Commit yourself to this and let your feet go this way with him. He is a wonderful man. He is a man of integrity. He is a man of his word. I have full confidence in my husband. I believe he's the best trainer in Canada right now. Canada is a wonderful, wonderful country. It's a wonderful country. But the difficult part of it for me with any of the new fighters that I've picked up is finding meanness because they, they have no reason to be upset about anything here in this country. There's a young man by the name of Mehdi Abidi who is probably the, the, the light of my career. The moment I met Jerome, I, I knew there was something special about him. He's gonna stick around. He's not gonna let that happen to him very much. Don't get caught standing in one spot doing this. Step around, let your feet help you. But you can't go back to that slowed down posture. That's where you're falling apart at. We're going straight back, step around. He's my biggest mentor. He's, uh, he's inspired me on a daily basis. Anytime I'm having a conversation with him, I want to go on a, on a long, long run. <laughs> I feel like I'm running faster towards my goal. That's it, now you're looking. Medi's hunger is, is, is unlike many of the Canadians I've met because he has a third world mentality hunger. Ah, you're talking to me. Keep looking. Coming over here was pretty hard for us at first because, you know, being an immigrant without Canadian experience, you know, I saw my dad have to work three jobs at a time, you know, working at two different gas stations and, you know, factory work and things like that. And that, that really affected me. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I could I could one day retire him and, you know, and, uh, and make his life a whole lot easier financially. And not just for him, but for my brothers, my, my one sister and my mom. So uh, God willing, with success in this sport, I can make that happen. I can not only change my life, but change, change my family's lives too. The blessing for me over the 43 years I've been in the business is that I found something that I was able to do all of my life that is work but doesn't feel like work, there's nothing better in life than that. Go around. 